Let's balance the equation C2H8N2 plus N2O4. So the first thing that we need to do with this is we need to count the atoms up and we need to be careful here. So here's how I did it. What you really need to watch out for is you have nitrogen here and here. So you have to count those both up. That'll give you four nitrogen atoms. Then in the products, you have two oxygens here and the one here. Two plus one, that gives us three oxygens. So make sure you do that first step correctly. Now we can balance the equation. Let's leave the nitrogen until last. There's no coefficient in front of it. So when we change that, it won't change the carbons, oxygens, or hydrogens. So nitrogen, that'll go last. Let's start with the carbons. Put a two right here, one times two. That'll give us two carbon atoms. Do need to update the oxygens. So two times two is four, plus we have that one oxygen there in the water, five. Okay, let's balance the hydrogens. Put a four here. 2 times 4, that'll give us 8. They're balanced. Update the oxygens. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4 times the 1, that's 4. That gives us 8 oxygen atoms. So we said we we're going to leave nitrogen until last here. Let's balance the oxygens. I have 8 here, 4 here. I'm going to put a 2 in front of the N2O4. 2 times 4, that'll give me 8. Let me update the nitrogens now. I have the two here plus two times two is four. So I have six. That's pretty easy to fix because we left the nitrogen by itself. We'll just put a three here, two times three. That'll give us six and we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C2H8N2 plus N2O4. Thanks for watching.